Whereas over here in the next series, you can see now here we have, you know, it's come down to 30. So on this option, this has come down to 30. So this is not bad at all. And Goldman Sachs wants to move up, obviously. I'm going to keep an option ready at uh, 190. And that would be a 38 delta. So let's, uh, in fact, it's, I think it's punching up. I say we just take five contracts, get in right now. And uh, we are going into the series, uh, which has nine days left for expiry. All right, so 2.48. All right, we got it. So here we are, we have Goldman Sachs and we have, and we have Bank of America over here. And uh, even here, you can see a little bit of crash happening. That's why we are uh, moving down on the option prices also over here. So we might take a little bit of a beating there. We were, we're not actually taking too much of a beating. We have a 2.35, the mark is 2.44. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. But let's just keep an eye out on this because I want to see how this volatility crush uh, happens on this trade. We should see it come down even further. We may get a chance to double down as well if uh, if Goldman uh, doesn't move up. Let's just take a look and see. 180 and this was a trade uh, mark price uh, 2.35. So it's about a $1,200 trade. And uh, so uh, it may not be may not be a bad time. Uh, to double down if it goes about 20%. So that would be about 250 down. Goldman is moving up. Let's see what we have 220. Oh, it's come down to 160. Perhaps maybe just add two contracts. If you're looking at, uh, you know, just getting some advantage there because Goldman will move up, I think, uh, given uh, given the, so two contracts at 212. 212 doesn't seem to be, all right. So we yeah, are exactly, you should get 1.91 or it shouldn't have been 212. No, I added two contracts. I didn't double down. I added two to it. If it goes down more, I'll add three, which would be the, you know, the doubling down would be complete at that point. But uh, I wanted to take advantage of slightly lower prices. So I just added two to it. Okay, so uh, we are at 188 and you can see it's gone up. Let's just go take a look at what we have. Well, this is great, guys. This is great. Uh, our trade is uh, 7 into 2, 14, uh, 14. So $1,500 trade. This is a $1,500 trade. And we have 700 right there. So we have a 50% uh, shot right there. This is this is as good as uh, as, as you can expect. Now, I, I, you know, like I said, if you wanted to be creative with it, now you, you're getting two dollars for this. You know, this is a day trading you know environment. I, uh, I'm thinking we have we have a great profit. It's uh, close to 700 dollars. That's 50% of the trade. Uh, so all of that can be done. And actually, you know, we should do these kind of tactics when there is something wrong that is happening to the trade, because at this point, it really, you know, it doesn't make sense to play. Oh, now it's gone up to 60 percent ROI. You know, we, we got to take profit out of this. So I'm going to take uh, four contracts off and uh, take it out at 3.30 and uh, book some profits there, because uh, this is just a great profit. You don't want to miss out on this. So we have 330. The mark is 3.38. So we actually should get a better better price on the on the trade. Uh, let's just wait. OK, there we go. Oh, it didn't give us a better price. It gave it uh, at 3.30 itself. But that's OK. We've, we've booked at least half of the profit here. Now, if we see any weakness, in fact, I do see some weakness coming into the S&P. I mean, each person has to decide, like, how do you want to deal with the situation? If you ask me in this day trading scenario, you get 50, 60 percent. You just take it and run. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect. So while all those fancy techniques are all very good techniques, no doubt. But for a day trading environment, it really doesn't make sense to complicate things. you got your profit and, uh, you know, you, uh, you, you got to run. So let's see if it can push up a little bit more and we can get closer to the eight hundred dollars. Uh, if that's the case, yeah, S&P wants to move up. But look at this. This is a significant bar closing in the middle. So definitely some of that, uh, you know, uh, must be selling over there. So let's take a look at the market watch overall sentiment here. It's taking a, some time to calculate. I would say 678. Uh, Goldman is still punching up. Uh, it wants to punch up at least 723. 753 i tell you what folks i'm, I'm just going to close it okay i'm just going to close it this uh, it, it it really uh, yeah we could have closed it in, in one in one shot but uh, you know this is what we did 753 dollars that's over uh, i would say okay 50 percent. let's just say 50 percent after uh, you know after commissions and everything so all right so that that was a good trade on goldman sachs and uh, i will of course keep this uh, market watch uh, charts and all open right here so if you want a free trial of this day trading signal service, you can go to this bit.ly link. It's bit.ly uh, slash 
day hyphen signals. Now the day and the uh, the D and the S has to be capitals. And once you go there, you can get a free trial. You can, you'll need to sign up there and you'll get a free trial. And uh, at the end of one week, if you don't want to continue, you can just send us an email at info at option tiger.com and we'll give you a full refund. So once again, the bit.ly link is bit.ly slash day hyphen signals with the DNS in caps. Thank you.